All right, guys, let's um, start working on this Exos latest base camp. So the first thing I usually work on is the body. So let's have a look at the body and I'll show you what I'll do with it, okay? Let's take it off. So here's the body and there's a lot of stickers, like you see. These windows are stickers, everything is stickers. So the first thing I always do is cut the doors out that way you can see all the animatronics of the driver that I'll work on later and with this body I have to cut the windows out basically all the windows and the door now the good thing about this body is it's actually very thick which makes it good to cut and it won't break and rip easy Okay, so the body is thick and that's good for cutting, but you probably know if you're into this hobby, Lexan is always tricky to cut. No matter how many times you've done it, it's never easy. Especially when you're trying to cut a door out, chances are you, you can rip it pretty easy when you try to snap it out. So the trick I do is I drill holes on the corners, then I use a knife and cut it. If you don't have a drill bit that's small enough, I just use a paper clip, cut it up, put it in my Dremel. That will work. Now, if you look at the doors on this body, you notice it comes down all the way here, and that's no good because if you cut this, chances are you're going to rip. So, we're going to cut along here. It's enough gap to look like a real car. Now to mask that, I'll just use Tamiya tape to mask along it. They'll give you nice even straight lines. So I'll be cutting along this line and you can see these are the holes I drilled. One here, one there, there, four here, one there. So now I'm going to cut it out. And this takes a lot of practice and it's always no for racking, so give me a minute. So I just lightly scored it with just, just a simple box opener. And it should just snap. So there's a door, I try to cut it as perfect as I can, so if I do want to use it again, I can always hinge it back and open it, but for now I will need it, put it over there. Same with the windows, snaps open. So now it's going to be Pete, the front and the other side, but I'll keep the door on the other side, just the windows come off. I'll leave the back at the moment, so bear with me, I'll be back. So here's the front windows. Here's the other side. So now it's looking like this. You can actually see through the windows because there's no windows, right? You can see inside the cab. these stickers off give it a light sand and I always keep the lexins in case I need it later maybe I can do something with this so what else I can do usually do is it's a bit flimsy here so I can extra lexin or a piece of styrene and some people use shugu but I'll do it later so the next thing I'll do is rip the decals off this is why I have fingernails eh? 
So I took all the decals off the front as well. And I just leave the back for now because I'm just going to work on the front. So now the next thing I'm going to do to give her more details is drill holes into these front lights. Just to make it look a bit more realistic. There's lights behind it. It doesn't have to have lights. It just looks like it has lights. So I just quickly got a ruler and just measure it and put the dot here right in the middle. It might look wonky, but wonky does what wonky do, I guess. Bear with me. So then I drew two holes, one on each side, and I use this tool to make it bigger. There's a name for this tool, I'm not sure what it's called, but you know, it makes holes, I guess. So now it looks like this. I make the hole bigger using a Dremel. Then I gave a light sand. Best way to sand holes are strapping them in the tube. Next thing I'm going to cut off is this part of the bed. So now it looks like that, right? The next thing I'll do is I'll mount this half cage into the rear. Keeping the bed for now to see what it looks like. So the cage is slightly wider, so I have to customize the rear bed to fit it through. It shouldn't be too hard because all I have to do is shave off this bit and that bit there. So I shaved off this side and that side, drew the cage in and if it's like that, Cage is by Perline Racing, it's their half cage. Sydney's been raining a lot lately. Once it's a bit warmer, I'll paint it inside black and paint it outside and put more work onto it. It should look ace, so let's mount it on. Big thanks for watching this video guys. Glad you made it this far. If you enjoyed it, please like and share the video for me please. Now let's mount it and have a look at the details closely. Thanks.